You know, some teams don't like to talk about a win streak. The South Dakota State or South Dakota volleyball team doesn't seem to mind since they feel like they control their own destiny. Zach Borg has more from Vermillion. Most athletes are superstitious when it comes to winning streaks. You'll understand why Sammy Slaughter was distraught after 11 straight Coyote volleyball victories. I had the same ponytail and I wore it for every practice and every game. And then two weeks ago, I lost it. And so I was a little bit nervous. Fortunately for her, it's hard to imagine anything putting a hex on South Dakota's remarkable role. The Coyotes have won a program record 16 consecutive matches in part because the most important numbers to coach Leanne Williamson are 1-0. and People probably laugh at this, but at one point in time today I had to ask somebody what my record, what the record was, because it was, it's just not something that we focus on. We obviously know where we're at, um, you know, we know the standings, but at the same time we have really, really tried to focus on us. Which means knowing that in the pursuit of an NCAA tournament bid, losing isn't an option. The Coyotes' RPI peaked at 33 this year and currently puts them in a favorable position to get a higher postseason seed or an at-large bid should they fail to defend their Summit League tournament title, a position any loss could jeopardize. There's always that what if, okay, so if we don't win, are we even going to make it? And the streak hasn't come easily, with the Coyotes winning four five-set matches during it, something they think will get them ready for the conference tournament. <laughs> It gives us that grit and that determination, knowing that we can't just step on the court and just expect to win, that every team is going to give us their best. They just really trust each other. Um, the buy-in is huge, and I think you can see that when they play on the floor. Where they'll look to continue making their own luck. Zach Borg, KDLT Sports.